ルガキには血と急を据えてやらねばなるまい行くぞ Alright, what is going on, guys? p a v o l s back again, coming at you with Fire Fist, Old Man Natsu Dragnil. And、uh, yeah, with the power of a friendship and family, we do have family. The spirits are forever with the original character design, Old Man Natsu Dragnil. Alright, so let's just get right into it. Let's do a quick run in、uh, Inheritance Zone just to check out the damage that this dude deals. Um, yeah. I'm actually kind of excited because. Uh, unfortunately for him, he did not get.、Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? He didn't get guard break. So, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. For regular PvE play and stuff, he's gonna be kind of doodoo. But we will be taking him to PvP and we will be testing out what he can do. I do think that this Yamamoto is completely unfair and completely overtuned for Brave Battles. Wait, he has Star Barrier. Oh, right, he gave him Star Barriers for, for Brave Battles. Interesting. I mean, his strong attacks are actually hitting. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh my god, he's making my phone lag. Do I have Power Saver on? I do not. Okay, wow. <laughs> 24k. Dude, the burn and weaken is so funny to me. Doesn't really have too much range on it though. Uh, have we taken damage yet? No. We already have a 168 combo. It's not too bad. But, like, you see, that's the issue with this guard break stuff. Like, we have a gold chappy chappy and normal attack damage item.、Uh, he is one of five, so keep that in mind. But we do have level 10 attack on him. And he's struggling to like really kill here because he doesn't have guard break. So for regular play,、um, yeah, I don't think it's the thing. <laughs> oh, his ultimate looks so good.、Right. Yeah, I mean, overall, I think for PvE, I think he's kind of.、Uh, I don't think, I think he's kind of underwhelming, I'm not gonna lie.、Uh, for epic raids, I think he should do just fine. Alright, so going into the character, we do have 1296 attack.、Uh, we do have a stern ridder killer, damage reduction for his soul trait. Now, this character is exactly what I expected him to be in terms of brave battles. I literally said、uh, to my friend, I'm like, alright, l he has to be a neutral attribute, pierce invincibility, have invincibility. And he has to be like resistant to the status ailment of weaken at the very least. Now, what I wasn't expecting was that he would get <laughs> resistance to weaken and drain, literally, Tsukishima and Jugroom. So he literally got a bruiser of 40%, a sprinter plus one, just so he's, com he's not completely unplayable in PvE, a berserker of 50%, decreased damage reduction. They also gave him last ditch, which was kind of nutty.、Uh, ignore Brave Battle Elements ability, Brave Battle Elements ability himself. They gave him Prevent Brave Battle Healing just to screw over Tsukishima a little bit more. Debilitator plus five seconds. He is weakened and burned because、uh, Tsukishima is immune to weakening. <laughs>、uh, flurry plus one, poise, and the star barrier is going to be from the T15. They literally gave him everything he needed to completely destroy、um, invincibility teams. And it, and it really bugs me because. Like, don't get me wrong. As much as I hate invincibility in brave battles, I feel like they need to come out with an item that disables invincibility or、uh, several characters with links that actually take out invincibility. Now, for the characters that we're actually running here, we do have a Tsukishima attack 30 30 30 across the board,、uh, damage reduction, and、um, honestly, I think I kind of like Yamamoto as lead here. Uh, full damage reduction, 20% links, and then a、uh, last ditch. So, this Yamamoto actually has how much last ditch do we have here?、Uh, 200% last ditch with start barriers, which is kind of cute.、Uh, we do have Jugram over here. He is a 5 out of 5. Attack 30, 30, 30 across the board.、Uh, full damage reduction except for the Tatsuki link.、Uh, the Tsukishima is a 3 of 5. Very, ooh, that's a strong Tsukishima, not gonna lie. Uh, damage reduction and then Tatsuki Link. So, literally, just da damage reduction aside from the Tatsuki Links.、Uh, let's see if we can actually go up against. Alright, l because I actually can't find a way to remove characters from my list, 
Uh, we're just gonna have to work with what we got, and that's gonna be, uh, let's, let's actually test this out. Uh, we won't take him against other Yamamoto's until we actually use the main team. This is Captain's League, by the way, so I do want to, uh, make note of that. I probably should have made sure that, uh, Yamamoto actually had gear on. <laughs> he should have last ditched 200%. He should be fine, though. Look, Jugram's already dead, bro. Drugum's already down, Tsukishima's already down. We're immune to weaken. So, Ichibei special does nothing. Drugum special does nothing. We still get weakened defense from Tsukishima. So, that is um, that is definitely going to come into play here, for sure. Uh, let's check this out. So, Tsukishima over here, 1 of 5. Uh, T, uh, T15. Uh, Drugum, 2 of 5. T15. Ichibe Max Transcended, and uh, yeah, let's let's see exactly what this could do. Now, Yamamoto does have a lunge for strong attack, which means that uh, he won't be able to snipe soul bombs as easily as characters like uh, uh, Jugram. I know Jugram has a 2500 length beam, which is actually really helpful. I like how the Star Barrier is only going to be really effective against other Yamamotos. Uh, we do have 200% last ditch. Oh, nice. That Ichibei is tanking. Very, very good. Very good, very good. Okay. So, not completely unstoppable in a 1v3 scenario. Ichibei, though? Oh, Ichibei has start barriers, too. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh, let's see. Do we go against another Ichibei? Let's check out this one. Uh, 105, uh, T15. 205, T15. Uh, 5 of 5. Max Transcendent, T15 as well. The full defense build. Now, the full defense build is definitely going to be super hard against uh, this Yamamoto. So, we are going to need a boost in order to for him to, like, really deal damage. We might actually deal only one damage here. Alright. Yeah, Yamamoto is definitely struggling to go up against that Ichibei. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely struggling against the Ichibei. Oh, that's actually pretty good, because that means that Ichibei might actually make a comeback. So if you have multiple copies of Ichibei for Brave Battles, he might actually be he might actually be able to, to stand up to the test. Uh, let's actually check. We should. We might have some Brave Battle tickets in the dailies. Oh, awesome. That's perfect. Perfect. Excellent. That's so good. All right. Uh, so yeah, let's actually go into our actual teams and see what we can do here. So uh, T15 ability, last ditch survival 200% with the Tatsuki link. Another last ditch 200% with the Tatsuki link and the T15. And then Yamamoto is going to be T15, except instead of last ditch, since he already has last ditch built in, uh, just start barrier. So uh, let's just do this right in here. And uh, yeah, let's just see how we perform. Now, unfortunately, I have Jugram paired up against the Tsukishima. So I'm hoping that Yamamoto can uh, take down the Jugram here uh, relatively quickly because Tsukishima does boost, right? As a Tsukishima does boost, right? There we go. Thank you. So Jugram's down. Ah, oh, they took the Soul Bomb though. Oh, okay. Still. Yeah, this team's unfair. Because it's like, if you attack characters that don't have Yamamoto, it's like, you kind of just... You literally just steamroll them, no? Let's see if we can find some Yamamotos with times 2. Alright, so we have a Yamamoto here, but total power 1791. Oh, what? Why are you in captains, bro? What the hell is this? What is this crap? Really? Oh my god. I have to hit him. Out of principle. I have to just smack you back to, to like, 5th seat, bro. Really? Not even Link slotted Yama? Come on. Now, Yamamoto has last ditch, bro. It's built into the character. He didn't even put some last ditch on him. What a waste of my time. 
All right, there we go. Blitz. What the hell? Really? Are they the same person? Like, I've never seen this before. Why is this? I'm so confused. 1-5 Jugro? I'm, I'm so confused. Oh, I just realized that you could do this. That's funny. I'm so confused. As, like, is this the same person or am I being lied? Am I being lied to? Am I being punked? Like, is it two different players? Or is this like the same person? Alright. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. How would you be able to pull a Jugroom? Did you, like, just choose to use the Jugroom? Oh, I'm so cool. I'm lost. Oh, we're getting actually pretty beat up here. Oh, okay. Did, did Yamamoto just kick the Tsukishima in the balls? Alright, and now we're going to go up against Drew, uh, yeah, other Yamamoto teams, just because I do want to see how Yamamoto stacks against each other. Now, the, the Yamamoto will be able to hit us, but like the thing is, uh, Mo's Drugram is pretty much max transcended, and his Tsukishima is 3 of 5. Even the 3 of 5 is still getting smacked up, bro. That Tsukishima is just getting pounded. You know what's funny is because Tsukishima used his ultimate, I think that we lost that. I think if Yamamoto used his ultimate, we would have been fine. <laughs> Let's check this team out. Now, remember that this is Captain's League, so the fact that we're, like, losing a few times, like, that, it, it's really, like, it, it, this is Captain's League. If this was, like, fourth seed or third seed, like, <laughs> it'd be a different story. All right, so everyone else dies. The star barriers from the Noitora might actually be a problem for characters like Yamamoto, to be honest. Because, like, you'll see here, Yamamoto doesn't have the crazy uh, star barrier. Uh, like, he, he can't penetrate barriers, right? So he won't be able to one-shot. Okay. The one-shot. <laughs> he won't be able to, like, 1v3 that easily. I've seen Max Transcended Yamamoto's 1v3 teams like nothing, though. All right, and uh, let's see here. You see, but like, I feel like, nah, because they get start barriers and they get boost too. Well, let's see how quickly these guys go down. Now, this one has a Jugram too, so like Yamamoto's going to be able to bypass his stuff. He's going to have to take down the Masaki first, though. Naitora's barriers are going down. Masaki's are actually gone. I'm not gonna lie, Tsukishima using his ultimate is like interesting to me. Damn, we barely got that. <laughs> Literally, the max transcended Jugum is doing it. And that was our last Brave Battle ticket. And I mean, I guess I'll leave it at that. Honestly, I think that he's. A bit too overtuned. I, I, if you're going up against like max transcended characters, he probably will be staved off a bit. But that's also taking into consideration that we're in Captain's League, right? So like we're going up against like two v two out of fives, three out of fives, five out of fives, max transcended characters, and all that. Like, hmm. For like third and fourth seat, like I went up against the max transcended. Uh, attack level 2 Yamamoto pretty much fully built up T20 and everything and he almost 1v3 my team and for context my Jugram's uh, 5 out of 5 Tsukishima's 3 out of 5 and my Jushiro was uh, 1 out of 5 he was pretty much just there for the barrier and the boost and that Yamamoto literally shredded everything that I my very existence was just completely destroyed I think we survived literally only because of Jushiro's barrier <laughs> <laughs> and Jushiro's ranged attack from across the map, bro. If it wasn't for the ranged attack from across the map, that Yamamoto was steamrolling, bro. 
But, I mean, that's pretty much it. I guess I will leave it at that. You guys grind will catch up him and stay blessed. I hope you all enjoyed this showcase. I didn't want to take him into, like, lower leagues just because I feel like, uh, realistically speaking, he's going to... If people don't have max transcendent units or, like, actually fully built up with gold chappies and stuff like that, uh, I feel like this character just steamrolls. I, I feel like he legitimately just steamrolls several opponents. Um, I'm hoping that Caleb does something... For brave battles and makes it a little more interesting maybe doing something across the lines of like adding rules like speed characters get times two damage speed characters bypass invincibility this week i, I feel like something like that would be very very nice for uh, brave battles and i think this rules could actually uh revitalize uh brave battles but my issue is that when it comes to adding rules and stuff like that caleb ends up making rules specifically designed for new characters and i've seen that with alchemist code i've seen that with uh dokkan where they'll try to like set um events and stuff specifically designed for the new characters that come out which i think is pretty sketchy or scummy because it gives people who wail or get really really lucky a huge huge advantage like for arena for example like the rules now for this entire league is literally strong da strong attack damage uh times two and then paralysis right and oh who who just came out that has paralysis immunity and is insane in arena yeah exactly aizen now i'm not i haven't really done arena yet but so i'm, I'm kind of interested to see what the layouts are for this kind of stuff but that's like the only thing that i'm a little iffy about when it comes to rules in bleach brave souls but i guess i will leave it at that you guys grind on catch up with me and stay blessed like comment and subscribe if you're new hope you all enjoyed this video yeah the yamamoto is absolutely a beast i think that he's gonna be kind of necessary for brave battles if you want to stay in third seat comfortably <laughs> you might have to uh, work a little after like after the next couple months bro a lot of people are gonna have yamamoto just because of the individual banner and i understand that a lot of people are going to be going in for him actually when i said which character do you want the most the poll was 65 percent yamamoto which is insane but i'm gonna leave it at that as grind will catch up him will say blessed like comment and subscribe if you know i hope y'all enjoyed this video and i'll see y'all in the next one peace <laughs>